Oh my god. Going deep. Oh my god! Holy I'm gonna I'm gonna shut up. I'm shutting up. That was incredible. Duran Overton beats the defense just like we've seen before when he threw the interception, but this time he actually puts it where he needs to, and we are that close to tying this game. We are one two-point conversion away from putting this to potential overtime. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Panthers franchise. We are coming off of that tough loss to the Dolphins. It was overall a pretty decent game, even though a little hair pulling, right? But we are back to 500, four and four on the season. And as I mentioned in the last video, I would like to get us to after the bye week. So I'm just gonna not waste any time. I'm gonna go straight into doing the simming. Once I get done with that, of course, you guys will see it. I'll be back in a second with you. All right, so here we are in week 11 and we are sitting at a tie of four and five with the Saints. Both of us not doing very good. I do think we're gonna watch this game just because uh, we just simmed a few weeks and we're getting towards the end of the season and I I just want to get a, a few more games in before the end of the year to really gauge what I feel like we need to really look at so if I'm looking at this team right now and trying to decipher where we have to go to change what our our future looks like where do we need improving the most I think right now our receivers are not up to par now Overton looks very sharp he's got an upgrade sweet he looked very sharp in that last episode. I'm excited for that. Can he develop to a number one? I think he can, but we don't know yet. Mingo is off to a solid start, but we need to get him above a normal if we want to rely on him in the future. Leggett, he has some spurts, but it, it just doesn't seem to be possible. Like It doesn't seem to be very consistent. And then Peoples Jones has sort of been underperforming in my opinion not that i expected him to be like some crazy good number one receiver but i don't know i just i just pictured more if that makes sense and we don't know enough about jerome ford he is now our player because of the injury to jonathan brooks we will see where things go um in the future with that position i'm not sure if ford has a contract up this year or if we have him for another season or two but another area tight end I was really hoping Dalvin Ridley would not end up being the injury prone guy that he has turned into, but we have already lost him for three games throughout the game. And now he's gotten hurt a fourth time, but this time it's for three weeks or it was for four weeks. Now it's down to two weeks, I believe after the Sims. And if that continues to be a trend, I just don't see how we can rely on him to be, to be the guy, right? Like we can't rely on that if we want to stick him in as our number one tight end. So. We're back to the drawing board on tight end, I feel, even though Ridley is super talented, man. He makes so many good plays, but consistency is what you need at this level. And it's just not what we have right now. The interior of the line has been struggling. We definitely need to find a replacement for Taylor Moten. He is he is getting up there and he's not coming back. He will not resign with me. Um, defensively, I like where our defensive line is at. I think we need to really address the edge rushers, the defense ends at this point, which is why I invested so heavily with them. We will take a look at the scouting here as well in a minute. I love where our linebackers are at. I think we have a good group. By the time Thompson is ready to move on or retire, or whatever the case is, these two guys should be ready to rock and take over those, those positions uh, very well. And then safeties, as you guys know, we need some safety help and it will be coming. So a few things we already have in the works, a few things we really need to start looking at closer. And um, that is where my, my mind is at right now as we head in towards the second half of the season. And now let's take a look at what happened during the Bucks game. Oh my God, Dion Boyd had three interceptions. What in the world? A 47.3 rating, 210 yards. That is the worst performance out of him by a mile. We did see this earlier in the year with uh, his interceptions being an issue, but that's that's really bad. Uh, rushing, Jerome Ford couldn't really get much going, 15 for 54. Um, not a whole lot to look at there. Our receiving was led by Duran Overton, only three catches, but he had 59 yards. Donovan Peoples-Jones right behind him, five for 56. Okay, so apparently you can look at the defensive stats in a, an individual game. Just don't try it on the league stats. 
And you can see that we ended up getting one sack. Trevon Wallace got one. That's awesome. Um, Christian Izian got two. Levante David got one. And Shaq Thompson got one. There we go. So we did have some bright spots on defense. No fumbles. Um, tackles for loss. Uh, nobody had more than one. So nothing too crazy in that sense. Okay. And here's where the conference is sitting right now. As it stands in week 11, we are currently in last place in the division. If we beat New Orleans, we will easily get third. And if the Falcons fail, we might end up sneaking ourselves into a second round spot. We could have. This division is completely up for grabs. Like, even though we're having a bad season, the playoffs are well within reach because of the struggling NFC South. Like, nobody is that far away from 500 or below 500. And we're really the only division that is that close. I mean, if you look at the East, Dallas leading by at least two games there, six and three. Nobody else has a winning record. So Dallas right now is pretty much the only team that is you know, going to be making the playoffs probably. Detroit and Green Bay pulling away in the North. NFC West, it's Seattle and LA are the only two teams above 500. So we're really in the only division right now in the NFC that is just really struggling. No team seems to have a grasp on it. Now, us losing to the Bucks was a big deal, but you know it, it is what it is. We saw them earlier. We know how they how we can play them right now, and this team is just not ready. So, like, part of me is hoping we get to the playoffs, but the other part of me understands that even if we make the playoffs, we don't have a very high possibility of actually making a deep playoff run because there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done on this team yeah which is why i'm trying to get through these seasons a little bit quicker early on so we can get into the real development of this team see how things are, are down you know four or five years down the road here's a quick snapshot of the league leaders patrick mahomes jared goff and anthony richardson wow that's not happening in in real life are the three leaders for pass yards rush yards it's jacob swift and chubb receiving st brown chase and watson and then over on the defensive side, Carter, Russo, and Matabuki are leading the league there. Bentley, Arnold, and Mosley in interceptions. And then Tranquil, Cooper, and Clark in tackles. All right, let's take a look at the Saints now so we understand who we are facing. Of course, they are one of our division rivals. So we'll be seeing them a lot, but right now they're in a pretty bad spot. So to see that we're on the same board as them when it comes to record is sort of a little upsetting. Derek Carr, 73 overall. Uh, Kendra Miller is the starter here now for them since they have moved on from Alvin Kamara. Receiver looks a little bit different as well. Chris Olave is holding up that whole receiver room, but behind him is a lot of unproven younger talent in Bub Means and A.T. Perry, Mason Tipton, and Devin Tompkins. So not a very deep room, not a very loaded room. It's uh, just, uh, yeah, Looking worse than us. I mean, Jawan Johnson as their tight end still. Foster Moreau behind him. The line is honestly probably the best part of their offense by far. They even have Chip Garfield. A uh, high draft pick here at right tackle. I wonder... I mean, I guess... I guess you just keep him here for Ryan Ramchek to, to move on. But, I mean, he's still has such a long contract left. You almost wonder if they'd be better off putting him in the middle at guard yeah six five three ten not exactly the biggest guy i don't know but either way they have a good depth at line that's one of their best spots cameron jordan is hurt right now even though he is still here so it'll be peyton turner coming in and then of course chase young on the other side and then we have brian Breesy in the middle christian boyd at defensive tackle and then jordan phillips willie gay at the outside linebacker position with jose middlebrooks another rookie 76 overall in the middle, along with Kalen Deloach, and then Pete Werner on the other side. Cornerbacks, very, very thin. Marshawn Lattimore is the best. They have Kool-Aid McKinstry, so they have a good one-two punch, but then it sort of falls off. Alante Taylor is you know, a little bit of average, maybe below average slot corner, and then it's Rico Payton and Rajon Wright. Safeties, it's still Teron Matthew, and now Nolan Curse, another rookie. Safety, 73 overall. We're going to defend medium pass this week, try and shut down the receivers, and then I think we're also going to throw it medium with our own playbook here. And then weekly game plan goal, get one pick. Yeah, I think that's something. We're, we're going to go sack the quarterback five times. We want to create some pressure like we did last episode. Hold them to under 14, get 350 yards, 
And then I would like us to get a decisive win. We have not had one yet. So we're going to try to aim for 17 plus points. We should be able to beat these guys. We are much better overall than them. We should be able to win this game handedly. And we're going to try to do it. All right. So after all of that, I have the upgrades ready to go for the game. We have JC Horn getting the first one. We haven't seen him get one yet. I think I want to go with zone for him. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter a whole lot. We'll go zone. Yeah, we'll, we'll go zone for him here. And we are going to get one awareness, one tackle, two to zone. Tremont Battle is up next. Good to see him getting an upgrade. And if I remember correctly, he's pretty much capped out. So we're going to go man. Actually, we're going to go slot. Yeah, let's go slot. And we are going to get one awareness, one play rec, two to tackle, and three to zone. Okay, they must have adjusted things. I'm going to have to redo my, my ratings video, I think. Because you... You used to never get a zone or slot upgrade ever. I'm gonna have to redo that. Okay, well, that's, there we go, another video. Um, Duran Overton, I think we are going to do, where, where is he at right now? So we have 81 catching, 84 catching traffic, 84 short, 77 medium, 81 deep, 88 spec catch. We need more release. Medium route running and catching is what's sort of behind on him right now, so. I'm thinking, no, not short routes. It's either gonna be deep or playmaker. I'm just gonna keep going playmaker. Yeah, that one's been doing some really good upgrades. Two ball carry, one catching, three medium, three release, one spin. Exactly what we needed with a few extras, perfect. And now Overton turning into a very formidable receiver for us. In the 80s for all of his route running. Now in the 80s for his release. I'm really liking where we're going with him right now. I think this is going to be a very good situation for us down the line. Jacquez Green finally getting an upgrade. I swear this man has needed an upgrade for so long. I think we're good with pass coverage. I feel like I want to build up his run stopping here a little bit. So we are going to go run stopper for him. Two block shedding, two tackle. That's that's good for him. Because if you look, he has oh, he has 74 block shedding now. And his tackling is up to an 82. So I think that was relatively needed. Theo Judge also getting one. And we're just going to go straight to power for him. Two break tackle, two trucking. Antoine Mobley. He has not gotten one in quite some time. We're going to go playmaker for him. I'm just going to keep using it, guys. I don't care. Two ball carrier, one break, carrying three to catch in traffic, three to deep route, a medium and a release. This guy is coming along quite nicely. Deep route and release are still really bad. So hopefully next upgrade or two, we can get some good rolls on that for him. Jaden Crumity getting a next one. And we are going to do, we'll do run stopper. Keep it there for him. Keep him going towards our scheme fit. Good. Devon Kirkland also getting one finally, and that is going to be straight to... I almost wonder if I want to go receiving back here. I'm going to go receiving back. Because if he has a chance to keep on this roster, we need him to be able to catch out of the backfield. One catch, three to short route running. So that didn't give us a whole lot. I might never do that again. And last but not least, Jalen Key. And we are going to do run support for him. And man coverage, two to play rack, one tackle, and two to zone. Derek Carr and the Saints coming on out. They are going to get to start this game off. Carr coming in with 18 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. As he's going to hand it off to Miller. And Miller immediately takes it up to the 30. There is a flag down. And it looks like, yeah, it is holding, which means it is going to be coming back. All on Fuaga, the left tackle. But now, instead of a second and six, it's first and 19 from the 17. Miller in motion. Carr takes a drop back. Looking right side, it's batted down by Simmons. All right, second down here. Miller once again in motion. This time going left side, it's completed. It's A.T. Perry on the catch. Battle making the stop after a gain of about five or six. Third and 13 now coming up. And the defense get a nice early stop here for us. We're going to drop out of the blitz look. Carr looking deep down the right side. He's got somebody down there, and it is somehow caught by Olave. Oh, my God. 
He just embarrassed Isaiah Simmons. I mean, that was also just a horrible animation for that particular situation, but... I mean, Simmons has got to get up there and bat that ball down. He just gives Olave every chance to get that pass. And man, what looked like to be a quick three and out now just turned into a potential scoring drive for New Orleans to set the tempo for this game. They really love putting Miller in motion. He goes out wide this time. Bar push out of the pocket. He goes down. Sacked by Draymond Jones. He has been on fire this season. Ever since we switched to the 4-3, he has been getting pressure multiple times a game. Love seeing that. Morrow in motion. Are again to throw over the middle. Throw to Morrow in a little in route. And he will get the yardage they lost back plus one. Now once again, another third and long here. Third and nine. They need the seven. Actually, more like the six and a half. And he's gonna throw it away. Very strange. I mean, I, the pressure was coming and I guess there wasn't much else that he could have done there. But now the Saints, after that huge play to Olave, are gonna have to settle for three. And defense, even though they budged a little bit, once again, they do not break. Three nothing Saints after one. And here we go on offense now. Boyd coming into this game, 2,200 yards, 16 touchdowns, and now 10 picks after his three interception performance last week. As he's gonna go over the middle right away to Sanders, and he'll get it to the 30. Nice pickup of six. Second down, four to go. Forward in the backfield, and is that gonna be neutral zone, or is that gonna be false start? It's going to be false start. No, it is neutral zone. What am I thinking? Learn your signs, dude. I totally knew that. I was just joking. Totally, totally knew that. First and ten. And it goes to Ford. Gets outside. He's got a block, and he's into space. Out to the midfield marker. And that opening run is going to get him 15 yards. Good way to start. Sanders in motion. Oh, it's a little hitch route to Mingo, and he'll get five for himself. Oh, they'll actually say it was four before being shoved out of bounds. Little read pass option there. And there goes Ford again up the middle. Another big chunk. This time it goes for 19. And just like that, we are now inside the 30. Boyd, in the shotgun, takes a snap. Looking right side, overshoots it. Looked like he was going for a little bit of an out route there to Peoples-Jones. I don't know if the ball just sailed a little bit, it looks like. Second and 10. A lot of action here in the first two drives of the game. Hand off to Ford right up the gut this time. They're a little bit more prepared. We brought down after just five. Third and five. Boyd, under pressure, gets rid of it in time, but Sanders is stopped. Tyron Matthew doing an excellent job in open space, and he's going to force fourth down. But we are going to decide to go for it. Judge lined up in the I formation. Big set here. Let's see what we do. It's a handoff, and Judge gets the first down. We needed two. We got about five, and now it is first and ten from the 15. And off to Ford. New Orleans read that one very easily. Gain of one. Mingo and Overton on the outsides here. Boyd looking underneath to Peoples Jones. Makes the catch, breaking off of a few defenders, and he'll finally be dragged down at the four. Very, very nice play there from Peoples Jones to get those extra yards. And off to Ford. Oh, I thought he was going to get that edge. But he is just a little short. It's cursed of strong safety. Making the stop before he can get to the end zone. Here we are. Over the middle, and it's out. 
of the reach of the receiver trying to dive for the ball. Looked like they got tangled up a little bit there in the back of the end zone. And now it's Judge up the middle, and he is shut down at the one. And now the question is, do we go for it again, or do we take the three points? And we are just going to take the three points, tie this game up, and move on to the next drive. Can't say I'm, not, I'm too upset about that. It's early on in this game. And there it is. Tied game with a minute 37 to go in the first quarter. Saints back on offense now, starting from the 29. Hand it off to Miller. Tries to cut it back. We read it. Green. Right there to make the stop. It'll be a gain of two. You know how awesome I think that Saints helmet would look if they did like a alternate black jersey with like that gradient type of look, like maybe running down the, the siding of the of the jersey or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like almost like a home option. That would look so awesome. Third and eight here. Another big down for New Orleans. Miller once again in motion. Carr alone in the backfield. We send heat. Jones gets through. Clowney gets through. Will force the bad pass and a quick punt. Very good opening drive. I'd like to see us get us in the end zone here. It's Boyd right away under pressure. He's able to complete it to Sanders on the outside. He'll get seven. And we'll get one more play in before the end of the quarter. It's Ford. Oh, my God. He tried to take on two different linebackers. It did not work in his favor. There's an injury on the field, and it's Ford. Guys, what are we doing here? All right, well, I guess it's now going to be on Judge and Kirkland. What a turn of events. Handoff, and it is Judge getting the first down. Boyd going to pass it. Got time, fires and finds Mingo again on the left side. Down to the 34, big completion. We are now inside of field goal range. Oh, is he back in? No, it's still Judge. Uh-oh. Boyd. 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 What in the hell are you doing? Second and 24. Hand off. Yeah, and yeah, now all the momentum is gone. Boyd, third and forever. Fires it deep, and he misses a wide-open receiver. Holy crap. That was a touchdown. All right. Second and four, I was reading something about Operation Sports, trying to figure out if there's a setting that I have to have turned off for that backward sack bull crap. I don't know. Not seeing anything yet. I'll continue to look into it, though, for sure. That's, that's just getting ridiculous. And there it goes. Miller up the middle. A nice gain of eight. He had a nice opening carry as well for six yards that I missed because I wasn't paying attention. Trying to search it up on the computer here. But that drive, we just, we just didn't do anything on that drive. It was a horrible drive. Boyd ran. And wow. Okay. Well, this game, sir, turned on a very quick, quick pace. Wow. All right. Well, we're here in the third quarter because it's been a whole lot of nothing this whole game. And I've said that same line for like four drives straight, anticipating that something would happen. So hopefully this is the last time I'm saying it. But we had one safety in between all of that chaos after that touchdown by Kendra Miller. And since then, it's just been back and forth, failed drive after failed drive for both sides. 10 to five is the score. What a weird game this has been. Carr takes the snap, he looks underneath. And who is that completed to? I did not catch the, the number. Obviously not the name either. But I know it wasn't Johnson, so I'm wondering if maybe it was one of the receivers. Second and seven. Maybe Morrow? That could be it. Carr looking short. It's completed. Sideline catch from Alave. First and 10. New Orleans finally getting something put together. 
Take the snap. Carr. Another comeback route. It works. It's A.T. Perry that time. Getting them across midfield. First time they've seen this side of the 50 in quite a few plays. Or drives, I mean. Carr takes the snap. Quick pass to Olave. It's completed. And the Saints carving us up here. Midway through the third. Trying to put this game out of reach. And honestly, with the way this game has gone, I mean, one touchdown could probably do that. It's been pitiful. Throw it out to Miller, and it was just not a very good play. Threw it too late. Thompson does an excellent job of getting over there to cover and ends up losing three yards. Second and 13. Miller again in motion. We send Heat. Heat gets through. Carr's got to throw it quickly. And he finds Jawan Johnson. And what a big play that was. What an excellent throw from Derek Carr. Knowing he's under pressure, knowing he's going to take a hit, delivers it anyway to his tight end. And now it's much more manageable here, third and one. Carr with the snap. Easy completion to Perry again. And that's going to put them inside the 20. Defense needs to step it up here. High formation, handoff to Miller. And he'll get four on the play. Seven carries, 88 yards. Of course, we know about all of them have come from that one run play. They haven't been doing a lot of running today. And he's under pressure, and he is hit as he throws. It was Brown getting back there for the pressure. Third and six. Carr is going to throw it away. Wow, that was a bad play. And New Orleans is going to settle for three. They're going to make this an eight-point game here, which is still doable for us. I mean, really, one touchdown and a two-point conversion. We're right back tied up. The question is, can we get this offense on a rhythm? So it has been a rough outing. We need this offense to step up here and try to find some life if we want to come back in this game. Boyd takes a snap, fires it, and he finds Mingo. One thing that is for certain, Deron Overton has been essentially shut out of this game by Marshawn Lattimore. There has not even been a single attempt to throw to him. As Judge goes up the middle, and he is not able to find a single bit of room. Third and two. And a quick pass, and as I say it, Overton comes through on the third and short completion for the first down. First catch of the day for him. Let's see what we got here. Play action. Boyd, deep shot. And Mingo cannot haul it in. Kool-Aid McKinstry was all over that coverage. He had the inside release, but it was just a little bit too tight. He got his hand in there. And now going for the screen to the tight end, Sanders. And look at him go through the defenders all the way down inside or across midfield of the 46. Big time play from the tight end. Maybe we have a guy here already. Play action again. Boyd gets rid of it just in time to Overton. And he is shut down immediately. Very short gain. But at least we're getting completions. We're getting positive plays. Hand off to Judge. Up the middle, and he'll push his way forward for seven. Third and one. That was a good run. I have a feeling we're going to try to do this again, and they have been very stout on these short. Yo, we're going to throw out of it. Boyd, quick pass underneath. It's completed. Peoples-Jones with the first. Didn't get a lot. It wasn't pretty, but it was effective. And that's what we need. Let's see if we get ourselves one more play before the end of this third quarter. We do. One last snap for Boyd. Looking short, completed to Sanders again, down to the 25, and that's where we're going to end things. Fourth and final quarter. Down by eight. It's been a tough outing so far for Boyd and really our whole team. The defense has struggled really since the offense started struggling. They really feed off of each other, as I'm sure you guys have seen before in your own franchises. And now that the offense is clicking a little bit, maybe this defense can get back into things in this final quarter. Boyd 
Oh my god. That was the worst throw I think I've seen out of him today. Jonathan Mingo actually beat Marshawn Lattimore deep. He had him beat for the touchdown and Boyd throws it directly to the corner. There was no help over the top, no reason to try and squeeze it in somewhere. All he had to do was throw it up and it would have been an easy touchdown. So nothing happened after the interception. There was two punts, one for either team. And now we're back. Still down by eight. Miller takes the handoff, cuts it back up the middle, finds room for seven before Wanham tracks him down. Another handoff to Miller. He's got the edge. Simmons. Wow, Simmons may have just stopped the touchdown there. That was there was nobody else there. They'll get the first down, eight and a half to go. Bar underneath. Johnson cannot get the first. He has stopped just shy. Pistol formation. Carr takes the snap, looking short to Moreau, and he's got him. He's pushed out. Another first down. New Orleans is methodically moving down this field. Seven minutes and some change left. If they play their cards right, they could get this down below four minutes easily and add points. Hopefully our defense starts to do something as they are not right now. And then we get called for a flag. You've got to be kidding me. This team is chalked, guys. They are checked. They do not care right now. Nobody is trying very hard on this team. Underneath, completed. Johnson breaks free, another first. We might have to just, just restart from scratch, guys. No trying to build up talent. Let's just revamp this whole team because this is just getting this is getting hard to watch. First and ten. Carr. Looking short left side. Completed to Johnson again in another big nine-yard completion. Carr is amped up. He should be. Down to 508 and ticking in this game. And they have second and inches just outside or inside the 15. And make that the seven after that completion. Four and a half to go. I said it earlier in this drive and they did exactly what I said. They have methodically driven down this field and are gonna put, about to put this clock below four minutes while adding points. Man, this is tough. This is really tough to watch. I don't even know what clip I'm going to put in the beginning of this video. Maybe that one. That's like the only good thing that's happened today. Sorry for spoiling it. Flag is thrown. I think it's going to be on us. It's completed. We have to wait to hear what it is. Yeah, it's offsides. It's on us again. Yeah. They had a free play. They'll get it down to the three. Third and goal. They're spreading us thin here. Car. And he misses them. That's big. They're going to go for it. Oh, guys, this, this could be a huge play if we can get this stop. Hand off. Up the middle. And we get the stop. First and ten for us at the one. That might have just shifted the outcome of this game. We just need this offense to pull their heads out of their asses and put together some plays here. Boyd hands it off to Judge. He immediately gets a nice crease, and he's out to the 13. Big time play there. Time is not on our side, though, so we got to be decisive with what we do here, Boyd. Takes the snap. He gets rid of it to Judge again. Breaks off of one. Can't get past the second. That's a waste of a play. That is the waste of a play right there. And don't remind us that they're not a very good pass defense and we've barely gotten 100 yards. Please don't remind us. Second and eight, two-minute warning. We still have three timeouts. So does New Orleans. We need 85 yards. Boyd misses again. What is he doing? I mean, this is not even a trait thing. This dude is just blatantly bad today. 
boy, you gotta do. Oh, you throw it away. That's four. You can't throw it like that on third and eight, man. We're gonna go for it anyway. You take off for some yardage. This game is. If we don't. We, oh my God. Here it is, fourth and eight. Boyd over the middle. Somehow finds our open receiver. It's Peoples Jones. I am no confident. I have like no confidence right now in this team. Yeah, we're just throw three yards down the field, man. Come on now. Push the ball. Jesus Lord. We run a delayed. We run a hitch. And then you throw it to the best corner potentially in the game. Delayed when he's covering him. And oh my God. Going deep. Oh my God. Holy shit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shut up. I'm shutting up. That was incredible. Duran Overton beats the defense just like we've seen before when he threw the interception, but this time he actually puts it where he needs to, and we are that close to tying this game. We are one two-point conversion away from putting this to potential overtime. Come on, Boyd. There it is. It's good. 13 all with 116 left. And now the pressure's back on New Orleans. Derek Carr has had a great day. 26 of 38, 261. No touchdowns, though. 112 and three timeouts. They just need a field goal. Can our defense step up? This last week, this last episode, they did this exact same thing and gave up all the yardage. And we ended up losing the game because of it. Can they get some, some retribution here? Second and two. They burned one of their timeouts. Foster Moreau in motion. Play action. Carr looking underneath to Johnson. And that is not a good thing right there. And they get out of bounds. Oh, shit. Okay. This is not looking good. Carr looking. It's picked! No way! No shit! And he's gone! That's a touchdown! Holy shit! We just flipped it on him! I can't put that at the beginning of the video. Oh my God, we just turned that around. We just scored two back-to-back -back touchdowns in a matter of like 45 seconds. And now we have a full touchdown lead over the Saints with 53 seconds to go. I cannot believe that he threw that ball. That was the dumbest thing. He didn't need to do that. They didn't need the field goal that bad. They could have just took it to overtime, but he took the chance. He tried to get it all in one shot. And my God, did we did we just take all the air out of them right now? Jawan Johnson underneath, tackled him inbounds, perfect. They have to burn a timeout. Forty-three seconds left. They need a touchdown now. They cannot rely on a field goal. Play action. Carr looking deep over the middle. It's batted down. Olave was the intended target. Three or four defenders in the area. The clock does stop at 37. Carr, again taking a deep shot. That time it's completed. It's Jawan Johnson, but again, he falls in bounds. They just had to burn their last time out. Now they need 40 yards. They have 31 seconds to do it. Carr, underneath, it's completed, but he's shoved down quickly. 12 seconds, 11, 10, 9, 8. This might be the last play. Carr. Under pressure, hit as he throws, and it's going to hit the turf at three seconds left. They're going to have one shot at a play to the end zone, 29 yards out. Takes the snap, and it's just a Hail Mary. You've got to be kidding me. Are you, what is this? We just got commandered. Where's Tyreek Stevenson? I'm 
I'm in disbelief right now. We're going to overtime. Well, here it is. Overtime. Saints get the, the coin toss. They're starting with the ball. Looking short. And it's completed. Gain of seven. I cannot believe what we just witnessed. I, I really can't. That was that was the most chaotic last few minutes of a game that I have I think I have seen on this in this like probably in the last year. Honest to God. Like that was insane. And what do we get? We we got called for that? Guys, can we settle the hell down, please? Okay. So here we are. Hand off Miller. Shut him down. There we go. Loss of two. We need, we need to stop. We need this ball back, and we need to win this game. We did too much in that in that fourth quarter to, to walk out of here with a, with a loss. Carr looking, almost picked again. Not sure why J.C. Horn decided not to catch it, but he decided not to. Excellent. Drop a pick, give up six. Let's hope that doesn't come true on this on this drive here. Carr looking short, and we have no coverage. Oh my God, what a play. Isaiah Simmons came up at the last second to shut him down just shy of the first. So that stop was very big. They were forced to punt it. Now we got the ball. 557 to go. We need 80 yards. Can we get it done? And off to Judge. And right off the bat, Judge starts us off with a nine yard run. Not sure how that wasn't a first down considering he literally fell two yards farther than that. But I'm done trying to argue with what Madden does. Play action this time. Boyd looking deep, wide open Sanders. Jatavian Sanders down to the 40. He got open on the corner route. Curse trying to cover him, did not work. There we go. Hand off to Judge. And he'll get another nice carry of four. Down to the 35. Boyd pushed out of the pocket. And he's going to throw it away. Finally, thank you for throwing it away. Third and six now. We need a big play here, though. Come on, come on, Boyd. Run it, run it, you idiot! All right, here we go, we're trying it. 52 yard field goal. They're gonna, they're gonna, yep, they're gonna try to, try to freeze our kicker. But here it is. We got Rodley Patterson. We know he's got a leg on him, 52 yards. Can we get it done? There it is. And it's good. All of the craziness finally pays off. And we are going to get out of here with the victory. 23 to 20. It took overtime. It took crazy plays from both our offense and our defense. But we finally get the victory after having such a weird game. What a fourth quarter. This has been one of the most craziest games I probably have seen. Jordan Fuller definitely deserves an upgrade after that performance. His pick six is what sent us into that, you know, situation where we ended up, well, I mean, we had to go to overtime anyway. But what I'm saying is that pick six really seemed to, to change the outcome of the game. It looked like they were about to drive down the field and uh, kick a field goal. He's going to get zone upgrade for sure. And he's going to get play rec pursuit tackle and two to zone. Good to see. Overall, super happy with how that game turned out. And it looks like Jerome Ford is much longer four weeks. So now we trade for Jerome Ford because of the injury to Jonathan Brooks. And now we lose him to a dislocated hip. We are hurting right now at the running back position. That's crazy. I think I'm just gonna bring in Pierre Strong Jr. I mean, I, I'm not too concerned with keeping this guy long-term at all. I just want a body to fill in. This would allow us to still use Judge and uh, Kirkland instead of having to be using the new running back. And we don't need him long term either. So it doesn't pay to bring in like a veteran that would, is going to expect to start the rest of the year. But let's go ahead. We're going to sim to next week just so we can see where things are at. So now after all of that, we have crawled our way back to third place, pushed New Orleans down to fourth. We are tied with Tampa Bay. And Atlanta is one game ahead of us for the NFC South.
We are sitting at five and five. We have a big matchup with the Rams. We have another one with the Saints. We're not gonna watch another one with the Saints. Like I said, we're gonna try to stick to one division rivalry game per season, like each team, not watching both of them, unless it's absolutely necessary. We'll see how it plays out. But for now, I want to try to get through these seasons quick, like I've said in multiple videos now. So we will see how things go. But as for this video, that is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below what you guys thought of today's game. Like, that was crazy, right? Before you leave, if you could hit that like button, subscribe if you have not already, turn on that bell notification. I will see you guys next time.